Live on the channel. Sorry, I haven't uh, made video in a few weeks. Um, a lot of stuff in her life and all that. Like your kids and everything. So, but, look, quick story. We will unbox this stuff, show it to you guys, me and Ritter, and then um, we'll answer a few questions. So that's how we're going to do it today. That way, if you watch this later, um, it won't be too... Uh, too random and too like you know out of control and, <laughs> or too you know too sporadic so here's a story for like a year now my father-in-law um, they're retired about to go on like this camping excursion and he, they've been asked about an impact wrench um, so Emily's mom's been asking me about it and uh, wanted to get him one and this and that and he he has some old uh, Ryobi drills and so Ryobi has a impact wrench that's maybe like the 450 foot pounds or whatever kind of like that medium rigid one i have is 450 foot pounds of torque i'm not sure exactly on the right ryobi one but see then the if you have like his very small old batteries it won't power it too so you have to get more batteries too and i thought about it for like a year or so and i like and what i end up doing was giving him my whole rigid setup like the drill the impact you know the impact uh driver and then the big impact wrench, rigid impact wrench. And then I purchased this stuff to replace it basically. And so you'll see what we got. And I still don't have a big impact wrench, um, but this will just be the drill and that, you know, the little impact that comes with the drill. But my dad said it works good for doing blades too. So River, I'm gonna start to open yours and you can rip it open more. And we'll rip and I'll start opening mine some questions here in a minute. You're doing great. Just take your time. No, no rush. We're just going to both be opening ours. Just showing you all some new stuff that we got. Whoa. Check it out. Boom. So, and check this out. So I'll explain this in a minute. So, what it was is if you get the Milwaukee kit on Home Depot right now, uh, the kit on Home Depot, this brushless kit, my rigid, the big impact wrench of the rigid was brushless, um, but the, uh, the drill and stuff was not brushless. And so basically this drill is an upgrade because it's brushless and it'll fit all my other batteries and stuff. And I wanted to give that to my father-in-law anyway, so I hope that makes sense of y'all why I bought this. I didn't buy it just because, you know, silly for no reason. I really, I really just, I wanted to give that stuff to my father-in-law, like I said, for like a year now, and he was super happy about it, and he'll be able to... Huh? Oh, it's okay. And he was, um... Hey, I'm up in the mine. Good job. He was... Yeah, and he was super happy about it, too, as well. Um... He was super happy about it, and so we got him hooked up with that. So that's why I decided to buy this Milwaukee set. So we got this charger. We got um, we got a 2.0 battery. Whoa! Look what else we got. What we get, River? That's a drill bit set. Is that the only thing in there? There should be another. I actually ordered a whole bit set as well. It's supposed to be in this box too. Are you sure there's nothing else? You want to yeah. stop it and start it over? It's blurry. No, it's okay. It uh, hopefully it won't. If it's blurry it's that, really on there, blurry. it's going to be blurry. Yeah, people are saying blurry. Why is that? Am I hooked up to the Wi Fi? Am I hooked up to the Wi Fi on my phone? Can you check it for me? No. There you go. Check into the Wi-Fi. I asked you about that beforehand, but um, how does it look? Uh, it should get better. It might take a minute. Um, but thank you, Emily, so much for letting me know that was blurry because we're working on that. So, um, if you guys heard the audio in the beginning, I want for a year now, I've been wanting to give my father-in-law an impact wrench, um, and so I end up giving him my rigid, rigid impact wrench, and I end up giving him my um, drill and the impact driver that goes with the drill too and then i bought this milwaukee set hey this one's in there too yeah and i bought this milwaukee set because you know i, I run all 
Milwaukee, you know, well, I have plenty of Milwaukee batteries and everything like that. So I wanted to, uh, I want to buy, just go ahead and get this Milwaukee set. So um, hopefully the blurry issue is fixed, guys. But um, does it look better in me? Mm -mm. No. It looks pretty good from what I see on your phone. Yeah, I see we're a little blurry. I don't know. I don't know what's the deal with that, but we're, we're gonna roll with it anyway. So, we got the Milwaukee, um, we got the Milwaukee brushless drill. It's super light. It's really nice, actually. I'm really, really a fan of it. Um, it's really good. So I got that. And then also, you see I have the impact, impact wrench brushless as well. And then, you know, like I showed you already, it has a charger, two, two 2.0 batteries. But what the deal was right now is uh, if you buy this kit, they throw in this battery free. Um, and this battery is, you know, 65 bucks or whatever if you were to buy it. So it comes with a third battery if you buy the kit right now. And instead of the kit being 229 or whatever it is, 250. Hey, I was Thank you, thank you, bud. So instead of the 229 or whatever it regularly is, um, you want to get down? We can't get on the table though. You want me to sit on the floor? No. No. You want to hold this? Yeah. So, um, so instead of it being the 229 or 250 or whatever it is, for 199, okay, you get both of these. It's the sub. Here, you hold that one for me. It's the subcompact kit. I think I think I believe it's called like subcompact and it's brushless. They're both brushless and they're very small. I'm really surprised how short and small this is, the drill and the impact wrench. So you get them both, you get the whole kit for $199 and they throw in this third battery. So it would regularly be two, two thirty, I think, or two twenty nine, I think I'm pretty sure is what it is for the charger, the two batteries, the drill and impact. Um, but uh yeah, but they, they throw in a third battery right now, and they sell it to you for $199. Um, so that's it. That's that's what I bought, and I bought this drill bit set, but I also am supposed to have the 100, 100 bit set that has like all your T25, your Phillips, your flathead, and you know, and all that stuff. Um, but when River opened that box, apparently that's the only thing that was in there. So I'm going to have to look into that because Home Depot, you know, is supposed to send me... Um, was supposed to send me both and i don't see both over there so comes with this bag which is really nice as well holds it all batteries your drill your impact i just wanted to reveal you know show it to you guys what we bought um it's a half inch thank you river it's a half inch drill uh which is really nice i really like the compactness of it i can tell already that it's very light yeah thank you bud you tell already that it's very light and it's nice I might remove this belt clip, who knows, but, um, and my, my dad, yeah, I think this is the same exact kit that my dad already owns, and he said that this impact, you know, won't be, <laughs> this won't be quite as strong as my 450 foot pounds rigid, you know, like I, I intend on buying a bigger Milwaukee impact as well for my harder to take off bolts. But my dad has this one, and he said even this one is good for the blades because it's brushless and it's still pretty strong um, for more blades. So I'm saying, so I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna be trying that on my mower, and hopefully it works well, you know, to sharpen mower blades. Um, uh, so yeah, so that's what we bought. That's what's going on. You know, I'm missing like a thirty dollar bit set because um, it didn't seem to be in that box that i gotta look into that but other than that guys i just wanted to show it to you live what we bought toolkit it's milwaukee it's awesome got the brush it's brushless drill and brushless impact driver so if you guys have any questions i'll answer those now and after we answer a few questions we'll get off here we got to go to my niece's birthday in a little bit i just got done with a doing a plant installation job for a customer and so um, that's what I'm up to on Saturday. And so, you know, all out of the, so now I have everything, basically one line of Milwaukee, like my drills, my everything, all my lights, my, uh, trimmers and blowers and all that, 
all Milwaukee besides that Cobalt Backpack Blower, um, which Milwaukee doesn't offer a Backpack Blower. So, yeah, so that's cool. So we're working on that. But the reason I bought it really is just because I really wanted to give that set to my father-in-law. I wasn't really itching to buy this set, but it is a good deal. And like I said, I they're about to leave on their excursion in like a month, so I'm like, I thought about it, thought about it, and they're coming over for pre uh, lunch last Sunday. I'm like, I'm gonna give them all my ridges and stuff and give it to them. The big impact wrench, uh, three batteries, four amp hour battery, the, the two two amp hour batteries or one and a half or whatever they are for the drills. And I gave it to them and then I ordered this set. So for $1.99, you can't beat it. Three batteries, uh, three batteries, charger, drill, in impact. They're the compact. I don't know if it's called compact or subcompact, something along those lines. Um, very light, very small, like small this way, lengthwise. Whoa, like, um, you know, like this impact wrench is really small. And as you can see, the drill is just a little bit longer than that. Like my rigid drill it came back more. So I like this. I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be an awesome set for me. The grip feels great. It's got kind of like a rubber, like kind of like a sticky rubber grip really nice um so we're gonna have to get these batteries charged up and see what it can do but uh i have a feeling it's gonna be great and i'm uh pretty happy with it pretty happy with it just gotta figure out why my other bits didn't come but um any any questions i'm gonna get off here no questions just besides what was what is said in the chat people are just asking like if it's blurry saying it's blurry and stuff okay well if you guys don't have any questions that was my new tool reveal and uh, I hope you guys are enjoying your Saturday. I hope you're enjoying your lawn season. It's been crazy over here. Just, you know, going through, you know, going through our route, summertime. You really don't want to drop batteries on the ground. <laughs> it's like kind of a no-no for these most all batteries. So, but Willow's kind of testing out durability on that. Um, oh, so we do have a question? <laughs> Just talk normal to me. I don't care if they hear, if they hear a voice in the video. I'm cool with that. Uh, you guys having a great day? Tony the Milwaukee man. We need this shirt. That says says that. <laughs> Love it, man. That is awesome. Nice to see the whole family helping out. <laughs> Lansing Long Sir says, "Whoa, babe, brushless, dude, dad." I don't. That is super funny. I don't. That might. Dude, dad might be like a something like an official like a show or something i'm not completely sure but oh yeah brandon said how much for everything so so you're talking 199 i feel like i mentioned that plenty already in here but so like when y'all ask this i don't know if it's, you know if you are like if you asked it before i said it but anyway 199 it comes with a brushless drill impact driver and uh three batteries so it's a deal it can't be and yeah and if you order it on the Home Depot website, if you order it on the Home Depot website, then um, it's free shipping. So, so the one ninety nine. So I paid one ninety nine with the tax. I think it was like two fourteen or something. And that's like shipped to my door, like everything. The drill, the impact, three batteries, and uh, you know, Willow's testing out durability of them. Hopefully, all of them will be good. Um, even right now, I'm sure it will be. Um, but uh, A Train seventy seven says, "What up?" Yeah. Uh, let's see in store or online Brandon. Uh, I ordered mine online And I think that might be the best way to do it. I think They may they probably would honor it in store if they have this kit sitting there if they happen to have it in stock like If they have this kit in stock and stuff, I'm sure you could probably buy it um, In store. I don't see why you couldn't um, But I got mine online. So just to be clear. I got mine online. I didn't even try to go to the store I just I got the Home Depot app and went on there and bought it up kind of thing. It's pretty simple. Um, <laughs> yeah, old man, old crank man's asking how everyone's doing today. Oh, Lansing learns launcher. See, I was right. I mean, he said, dude, that is a YouTube channel and a TV show now. Wow, that's pretty cool. Whoa. Um, Whoa, old crank man, how you doing? So I appreciate all you Wait, guys. Cameron asked something about what do you ask oh, oh okay have you ever had a battery get too hot that it works intermittently so i'm guessing he means like if you're weed eating let's say you're weed eating and it the battery like gets too hot where it just shuts down i have not experienced that with my milwaukee equipment um the only time i've had it shut down is when i you know it's dead you know at the end 
But I do, I do try to be pretty diligent in you know keeping my batteries in the cooler. Like if I get to the next yard, even if the battery's not dead from the yard I just trimmed, I try to just grab a cold one out of the cooler to like keep the battery cold. And then even the one that's not dead, I stick it back in my cooler um, so it can be cooling down. So that's what I do. Um, so I've had it cut out. I have not had it cut out, um, but I'm not saying it can't happen um, because I may have just not pushed it far enough to its limits, you know. Um, but I have five years I've used this trimmer like every day. Like I put it, you know, now I'm really just doing weekly work, you know what I mean? So like if you're, I say, you know, like out beside my house, there's a lot over there and it's like three foot tall. The people just come every so often and like kind of knock it down. If I were to take my trimmer over there, just like bury it in there and just hold it for like 30 minutes, um, maybe it might. I, I, I'm not saying it can't happen. I'm not saying that. But um, I have not experienced that. My Milwaukee stuff has been excellent since day one, for real. Um, so that, you know, that's that's that on that. And the, with the 12 amp hour, I mean, the Milwaukee, the string trimmer, it lasts such a long time, um, a really long time. So, you know, if it's really hot and if you have one of those batteries and it's nice and cold, you know, that thing will still last really good. So I hope that answers your question, my friend Cameron. Y'all need to check out, he made a short, like it was like yesterday or today or something. Uh, we watched it, it was really good. So he was mowing and check out his channel in general and, you know, the mowing and all the stuff that he does. Check out Lansing Lawn Service. I know he, had, you know, I'm a big fan of his channel as well. So go ahead, what, what's the next question? Lansing Lawn Service, how many batteries needed to run a trimmer for 10 lawns? Okay, so so I'll, I'll just tell you the exact setup I have. Um, I have a total of 10 batteries of Milwaukee, but um, one of them is just a little 5 amp hour one that I have on the Sawzall. So if you take that one away, I only have 9, and there's actually one that's brand new in the package and it's been sitting in my garage for like 6 or 8 months. So I only really use 8 batteries. Um, and I have big properties and all that. Uh, and I usually, you know, can't kill, I usually can't kill all eight batteries in one day. You wanna hold this here? So I usually cannot kill even all my eight batteries in one day, um, you know, if I'm just semi smart, you know, about it. Um, it's worked great for me. Like I said, I think this might be my third season of using the Milwaukee equipment, like for all my trimming and all that stuff. Um, you know, I don't use it in the fall, you know, when you need the big, you know, when you're dealing with tons of leaves, but uh, <laughs> grass season, I use it. Willow's watching another video, where there's like a zebra on there and stuff. So, yeah, so that's the deal. Uh, so I, I have eight, and I have a few for that cobalt backpack blower if I decide I want to use that during the day, too. I have that option. Um, but yeah, so technically I have eight, but um, let me clarify something else. On the Milwaukee line, I actually have four, four aftermarket Milwaukee batteries. Four aftermarket Milwaukee batteries. I paid like 50 bucks a piece for them, and they work great. They're not as good as the 12 amp hour. I have four of the 12 amp hour, <laughs> biggest one Milwaukee has. Wow, River, that's nice. <laughs> I have four of the 12 amp hour, the biggest one battery that Milwaukee makes. Um, and I, I love those, but I also have four aftermarket ones, and that, you know, there's my eight, really. And I have a, a nine amp hour genuine Milwaukee one that I got with the kit five years ago, and it, it still works great as well. So, um, I've abused mine, they've been great. I, I did have one battery, um, I had one battery, even when it was brand new, I, like, uh, I could tell that it just did not have the power. And then even after I owned it for a few months, your little light up bars that shows your charge, it only went up to three bars even when you fully charged it. So, I uh, on the Milwaukee website, they have an e-service section, went on there, you type in your model and stuff, and you, I actually just like emailed them a screenshot of my Home Depot order receipt, because I keep those in receipts folder, my Gmail, another big tip there. Um, and within like a week, they just had me a brand new 8.0 8 Milwaukee battery in my hand in the package. So customer, customer service in Milwaukee has been top notch for me. Um, if I need to call them on the phone and ask a question, they always, you know, answer right away. 1-800-SAWDUST, I believe it is. 
Um, I pay full price for everything I have. I just remember that their number. I pay full price for everything I have. You know, I'm not to that point where they send me anything or anything like that, but I just love the product. I use the product. So what's next, Jenny, before we get out here? Anyone else say anything? I mean, just saying, hey. Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> Paul Jameson said, what's up? And he said, echo gas powered equipment all day. I do, I do have echo, echo gas powered equipment and I still like gas powered equipment. I'm not, I'm not against gas powered equipment. I, I like gas powered equipment, but just for me, I guess being 16 years in and stuff, I really just love the quietness, low vibration of, of battery equipment. And I'm willing to buy a lot of batteries to be able to make that happen. For me, it's worth that trade being a solo operator and all that. So not against gas equipment. I still own like, you know, three, you know, bunch of at least three, four gas trimmers. And I actually have a brand new um, steel backpack blower. I got my Echo 8010, you know, so I mean, I, I'm not against it, I have it. Um, but I was just showing y'all I got this to add to my lineup of the Milwaukee equipment. And it's cool because this M18 drill, um, you could just take the battery off your weed eater and I could just hook it right here on my impact wrench, you know, and it, it could work. So pretty crazy. Now, I, I wouldn't really do the other way. I wouldn't put one of these tiny batteries on your weed eater. Te technically, it would work, but it's going to draw, it's going to pull a little bit, a little bit too many, too much amps out of the battery, and it's going to make the battery hot pretty quick. Um, so, you know, if you had to, if you had like a few, it's still good that they all fit, because that way if you had just a little bit left of driveway or something, you had this in the truck, you could finish it. Um, but, you know, it's not the best to go put the tiny battery on the trimmer, I guess is what I'm saying. Hedge trimmer, it would work good. Blower and weed eater, I think it draws a little too, too much. And a uh, huge battery on this is not really super convenient either, but it just makes it convenient that they all can fit. So, that's pretty much it. Oh, Paul Jameson just got 19. Now, y'all check out... Uh, uh, wait a minute. Huh? You can have I'm gonna have to hold this for a minute. So, y'all check out... Um, uh, sorry, Willow, Willow just, she fell or something, so, and we can deal with that. So, y'all check out, Paul Jameson has a new channel, I believe, it, just going off memory here, I believe it's called Lawn Transformations with Paul Jameson or something like that, and, uh, y'all check that out because it's, those are cool videos, those are cool style and type of videos, like, for what YouTube, you know, likes and stuff right now. Um, so I hope I hope it like really goes viral for him because I like because Paul's a super good guy and all of that. Um, so, but he said he just got 9010, which is awesome. I would like to have a 9010 in my collection as well. The only thing is, is uh, kind of hesitant to sell off my 8010 to get the 9010 because the engine is the same and the 8010 is lighter weight by like a couple pounds. And um, I was talking to. You know, I was talking to Danny Lanier, a bunch of people that like have both, and they said that the eighty, the ninety ten is even a little bit heavier. Um, but I do think it is a little bit stronger. I have like three friends that have both, and I think the ninety ten they even figured out how to bump that power up just a little bit more, which is crazy and it's awesome. So I'm not saying it's a bad tool. I think it's a good tool, but um, but man, it's like as I if I use the eighty ten for like ten hours a day every day during fall and winter, it's like. I can't even imagine like adding a couple more pounds onto it. You know what I'm saying? That's all. It's my only really gripe with it. I think it would run good. I think it'd be, you know, great blower, all that. So yeah, that that's what's going on. And uh, a lot of great things coming up. Paul Jameson, he said 9010 uh, has a little weight to it. So yeah, I guess. But again, I think, you know, right tool for the right job, right? So I think, 9010 is great you, when you're talking about leaves you're talking about stuff like that um yeah he said but crazy powerful so as you talk about leaves when you need the more power the better i think the 9010 is the king of the hill right now i don't i don't think there's anything i do want to try that red max 8560 which is the one that was revealed at the expo last year i want to try that um so i'll have to see if i can get my hands on one of those next few months or whatever just like everything everything's hard to get and all that but anyway you know, overall everything's good, business is good, um, installed some shrubs today and stuff. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, 
uh, Cameron said I heard Paul's afraid of those Bama snakes. So if y'all have to tune into Paul's channel so you can see what he's talking about, about the snakes and stuff, it's, it's cool. Um, and yes, we do have snakes. Uh, predominantly like uh, water snakes, you know, like all, along the lake. Um, there's probably like a technical name for them. There's some kind of water snake. They, they're kind of like dark brownish, blackish, and they got like a pattern on them. Um, but, you know, they're poisonous, so, uh, but they look scary and everything like that, and those are super common. Like, if you look around on people's riprap along their seawall, on their dock and stuff, almost everyone has one on every property there somewhere, and so that's what's crazy. In the spring, they love to, like, lay up on people's dock and up on their boats and stuff to, like, get sun or whatever. And then as it gets summer, you know, and it's super hot outside, they kind of hide a little bit more, but, you know, they're around, so... Yeah, so I appreciate you guys. I'm gonna get off here. Wanted to show you my uh, the kit that I got. If y'all want to look it up online, Home Depot, just to recap, I'll try to give you the model number. It's two eight nine two dash two two C T. So if you go on Home Depot, one ninety nine, three batteries of the two point oh batteries, which are the red lithium hey, CP. Um, working out the kit on the box. Okay. Yeah. So. I mean, that, I've never seen a deal as good as that, even like prior to supply chain and all that issues. Like, I think I sent, the, I saw it for $1.99 maybe a year or two ago, and I was like, Dad, here, look at this. Sent it, sent the link to my mom's phone, and then he just like bought it. Um, and so for like a couple years, my dad's had it. And uh, so now I picked up a set, and I basically got mine even $65 cheaper than Dad because they threw it, throw in the third battery. Um, they actually just give it to you like in this like a whole new case and everything so the, yeah so that's it if you want to look up the the model number it's a super deal right now at 199 three batteries you can't beat it it's small it's compact it's brushless um it's high quality because milwaukee it's got good warranty all that stuff um home depot.com will be free shipping because it's over that you know threshold of whatever it is 35 dollars 45 dollars whatever it is so you can 214 dollars um you can have it shipped to your door. So that's what I bought. And uh, supposed to have a big old Milwaukee bit set that I invested in. And uh, River opened the box and all we got in there is these drill bits. So I don't know what's going on with that. It's gonna be a little bit of a pain to sort that out with Home Depot, I guess, because you know they think the order shipped and I did get the order, just not all <laughs> full. But anyway, I'll work on that. Y'all are awesome, appreciate you getting off here. See ya. I was just looking at the pit that you were telling